Ready to go fish and sizzle? I'm ready. Are you excited? Yes. You're gonna look excited. Very excited. Where are we going? I just got a bunch of work to do in the car while we drive. <laughs> so, but we are headed to south. Do you guys see what I have to deal with all the time? We are fishing going to the Everglades with Thaddeus. Go. Brian set up the whole entire thing. I Okay, so we're going to the Everglades, apparently. It's like an hour and a half way, a, an hour and a half drive away, and we're fishing with Captain Thaddeus Reagan, Whoa. and we fished with him a few years ago, so I'm excited to uh, meet up with him again, get on some bass. Are you excited to be fishing with two of the most best looking fishing men in, in, the, in the state of Florida? Yes. And Thaddeus is an official model. So Darcy's gonna be fishing with two of the best looking fishermen in Florida, or in the world probably. Thaddeus is first, I'm second, and Hollywood Peter Miller is third. <laughs> but let's get down there, we gotta go. Oh, shiny, oh, shiny. What's up, Captain? What's up? Your boat's so shiny. I know, it's cause it's new. So shiny. Uh, this is a different one than the one you were in before. Yeah. This is a uh, 2019 uh, Bass Cat Caracal. Beautiful. Thanks. We finally made it out here, even though it's the crack of noon, like Brian always says, but we're going to get on that afternoon bite fishing with Captain Thaddeus, Ray Thaddeus How you guys Reagan. Doing? of Glades Bassin. <laughs> GladesBassin.com. There you go. So he's about to give me a little, I guess, overview of how we're gonna be fishing today and also teaching me a few techniques that I don't know anything about. So here we go. So we have uh, really clear water out here. We're gonna go uh, with a smaller finesse type worm. Okay. Okay. And we're just gonna be twitching it along with a, with a spinning rod. And the reason why I'm throwing this worm on a spinning rod is because it's a smaller worm and, and a bait caster it, you're going to have a little bit of trouble casting far with a small bait with okay. a bait caster and so, also with the wind today and with the wind the wind is going to be crazy hopefully we uh, don't have too many issues with it we're going to fish yeah. with the wind so okay. we kind of eliminate some of that uh, but here's what we're going to do we're going to throw it out and you want to get as close to the edges as you possibly can, okay? Okay. Um, the fish are, are right against the edges. Okay. I mean, you, when, the, when there's a lot of wind, they do kind of spread out a little bit more, mm -hmm. so it's a little more forgiving, but uh, you want to aim for those edges anyway. Okay. So we're going to cast out to the edge, okay? I like close the bale before it hits the water. Give it a little shake, shake. Okay. As soon as it touches. Okay. Like it's freaking out, yeah. right? And then I'm just letting it, letting it sink a little bit. And because we have so much wind, I'm going to keep the rod tip low. Okay. And I'm going to just keep doing these little uh, quick twitches and reeling at the same time when I'm twitching it, right? So you're keeping them up high in the water I'm column? I'm keeping it fairly up high in the water column okay. for now, unless we figure out that they're down deeper. But okay. uh, we're going to fish a little quicker, uh, higher in the water column. And when you're fishing this worm, you don't want the rod pointed towards it like this when you don't want to fish it like this okay you can't set the hook that way right. okay? okay you won't be able to give them slack line right so you to eat it to eat it so you got to keep it over on the side up or okay. you know at an angle okay okay cool. and then when they bite it stop for a second okay okay don't freak out just be like it's a fish okay calm down a lot yeah. of people will jerk it right away yeah and and miss the fish every time okay so you want to just stop and be like okay it's a fish then so you point at it come forward and then I like to tuck the rod under my arm mm -hmm. and then I'll twist with my body to set the hook, set the hook. and I set it really hard okay. your drags gonna save you from bending the hook or breaking the line so All you're right. gonna hear that okay. if you didn't hear that you didn't set it hard enough okay and then fight the fish in cool all right I'm excited let's catch the first one <laughs> <laughs> let's do it nice cast damn that wind's Ride crazy down and give it some twitches let it sink. And when you're in pads, you can let it sink a little bit more. Let the fish catch up to it. Nothing. All right, now I'll try that. See that other corner over there? That little something floating yeah. underneath the water? Okay. Try that and then we'll move on. Got oh. him. Point set. You forgot the point, but I you did. got him anyway. Did you get him? First fish. I think I did. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Oh my gosh. There you so go. fish. Swing it up. All right, so I almost got Thaddeus's 
instructions correct, but I still caught the fish. I do need to set it a little harder. I'm just not used to that at all. I'm used to the circle hooks that I use on a daily basis, but solid little largemouth that was very hungry. As soon as it hit the water, he waked on it, which was cool. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but you can use the fish's mouth as leverage. You put your palm on the hook, uh -huh. okay? Whoa. And pops it right out. Damn, that's pretty cool. He is fish. like the uh, expert of dehooking fish. He's the one that taught me how to go through the back gill plates and get swallowed hooks out. All right, let's let him go. I guess on the sun side. Or there's not really a sun side. I'll just throw him. All right, let's get another one. <laughs> and you can, you can kind of fan out with your cast too if you want to hit different spots. Okay. Don't be afraid to throw it over the lily pads, you know, right. in places where you think you might get stuck. Just, just throw it. Okay. Because if you're not where the fish are, you're not going to catch one. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Even if they do get stuck in the pads, it's we can go get the them out. Yeah. Are some... you fishermen? Yeah. Women fishermen. Oh, it... oh. If you would have pointed at him, you would have given him the worm a little better. Well, that, like, I honestly went to go twitch and it was like fish on. Like, I That's, wasn't. You just I gotta even... stop. I wasn't. Just stop. They'll hold it. My reflexes are too quick. They'll hold it. Your, yeah, your reflexes are too good. <laughs> Am I in your way so you can't see it? No, it's fine. Oh my God, he ate it right there. What do you have? Oh! No comment. No pointing. Listen, man, he ate it at the boat. Like I couldn't, I guess Gotta I... stop and point. <gasps> That's bass fishing. Damn it. Look at it, he tore it. Look what he did to your bait. That's twice now, back to back casts. He's totally eating it and I'm not properly setting the hook like a normal bass fisherman should and I'm getting frustrated with myself now. It's, it's not, not paying attention snook. to the instructions. It's not a snook. It's not a snook. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! <laughs> oh. I'm like getting scared because I like feel all this other crap in the water. Right. Like, Is that a fish? Is that a fish? I'll eat. Just remember to stop and watch your rod tip. If your rod tip is bouncing, yeah. then you know it's a fish. So you're saying twerking is one of the most frequently researched. Oh God, here he is, here he is. Whoa, that was sick. Get out of the grass. There he nice. is. Nice. I thought he wasn't gonna eat, but he just moved. That's a solid one. Hey, mine's bigger than yours. Much bigger than mine. Nice fish. Heck yeah. Daddy is showing me up right now. Oh, you're just getting warmed up. <laughs> I gotta take advantage of that, this moment. What a beauty. Cool. Yeah, you, I'm sure you don't get to fish a lot, right? I do, I do. This time of the year. They did it. Pointed, yeah. Nice one. I got a fish. <laughs> Yay! Nice one. Does it count yet? Woo! Nice. Heck yeah! I did it, I did it! I finally was able to point the fish, point the rod tip at the fish and let him eat it, and then I just set it. And I think I set it pretty good. Oh yeah. It's in there. Nice. That wasn't going anywhere. There you go. Alright, I'm becoming a bass fisherman, slowly but surely. That Look how dark he is. That one's black. Yeah. They say the darker ones are in the thick grass. I'm breaking off the skunk, slowly but surely. All right, let's get another one. So if you're a new baitcaster fisherman, you can put painter's tape on your spool, and that way you can't cast past the tape and backlash. Oh. And if you do, it's a small backlash, so you can pull it out quickly. Mm -hmm. So first you gotta pull out some line to how far you think you're gonna be able to cast. Right. Luckily you have me, so I'll cast just <laughs> fine right out there. And, and I know you cast, uh, pretty well too. Okay. But um, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to take the tape and we're gonna reel it onto the spool. Oh. Just a little piece. That's so cool. Now you've eliminated backlashing the rest of the spool. Exactly. Wow. All right. And if you do cast to the tape it just it just does that, it won't hurt anything, you know? Yeah. And if you notice that you're casting so well that you're casting to the tape and you're not having any problems, then you can take the tape off. Okay. But. Cool. That's 
a really cool trick. The great catch fish. Yeah, right. right? <laughs> Pretty perfect timing. If you're used to casting a spinning rod, you got a short, like a short little, like a jerky, more of a shorter cast. Yeah. With a bait caster, it's more of a big swing. You know, um, so you got to take it further back, okay. and you're going to feel the um, the weight of the jig as it goes, and then let it go when you have the the most resistance on your thumb. Okay. I know that sounds easy, but yeah, just like that. You see how I did that? Mm-hmm. And I mean, you always use your thumb. I, I don't keep my thumb on it the whole time. Okay. I'll just keep it hovering over it, and if I, I'll just tap it just gently as it's going out. And then when it, right before it touches the water, I stop it. Got it. And I try to get as little splash as possible by stopping it right before it touches down. Oh. So, I take it back like this. I'm gonna, I like the little, the around the, I don't know, around the world circle. cast. Yeah. A little circle. Just like that, and then boom. And that gives you a lighter landing when you do that. It doesn't take a lot of force if you have your reel set up properly. Yeah. And it's just a bigger, wider swing. All right? Than a spinning rod. Than a spinning rod. Okay. I'm, I'm pulling out yep. here, and then I'm, I'm using this hand. To push it. To do a lot of the casting. Okay. Give it the momentum. See that? Nice. Easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> No filming. <laughs> Give me a second. All right, you're a bait caster fishing. I'm going to catch some on the worm. You want to try the. Um, see, I'm flipping over there a little bit. Do you want to try the Zara spoon? See, I'm crisscrossing over here. Hey, you don't even have tape on that one. You're doing great. Thank you. I Get saw him. him wake on that. Get him. That was cool. Oh, that's a nice one. That is going to land him for me. Should I just lift him? Nice. Solid fish, man. Killing it out here. We just had like a little lull in the action, but I was getting those bait casting lessons from Thaddeus and then just started pitching out the worm again. And we are crushing them. I just saw him wake behind it. It was super cool. Another beautiful largemouth bass in the boat. At the boat. Nice. Daddy has got one. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Pulling some drag there. Solid fish. Heck yeah. Nice. Heck yeah. That's the biggest fish of the day. It's turning on. Afternoon bite. Here we yeah. go. Come catch fish with Cap Captain Thaddeus. I'll link all his information down below. Fish on. He's coming in in the lily pads. Whoa, that's a stud. Big mudfish. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. That's called a mudfish and also a bowfin? Bowfin, yeah. Bowfin. That's a big one. Holy moly. Wow. Look at that thing. Flipping all over the place. Watch your toes. <laughs> yeah, right? Aren't they like really stinky and smelly? Yeah, not too bad. Oh. Do people eat those things? You know what? People laugh at me, but delicious fish. Really? Delicious fish. Wow. The problem with it is if it's dead and you try to fillet it, the, the fillets are so mushy that you can't fillet. So you fillet them alive? I'll take them home alive, crack them in the head with a hammer, and then fillet them. And I can get the fillets off, and it's the best meat freshwater wise wow. that you can get. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a catch clean cook with a mudfish bowfin one of these days. That's a solid one. And they're gonna they're gonna tell you. <laughs> they're gonna tell me not to. They're gonna tell you to throw the pan away, <laughs> or throw the. How's it go? What's the thing? Uh, oh. oh, eat the pan and throw the fish yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hook it on a cedar block and <laughs> eat the, throw, throw the fish away and eat the block. Eat the block, yeah. 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 He going. Oh, God, that was insane. Woo. Nice.
Nice. Woo. <laughs> that was insane. I literally just had the same eat the last cast. Missed it. Um, I didn't let him eat it long enough. And then that one, he just hit it as, a, as I was about to bring up the lure and just bring it out of the water to recast. That's a stud. Biggest one for me today. Heck yeah. Nice fish. Good job. That's like a three pounder? Probably. Yeah, I give it three. Probably a good solid three right there. Check him out. Gorgeous. Missed a lot of fish, but I'm also learning and caught a few fish. This is a nice one for me today. This is totally stoked. I'm totally stoked. Big one. Big one. Oh, yeah. Big one. Nice. Was he that shrank. On, was that on the edge? <laughs> he shrank when he came out of the pads, but he's still a good one. <laughs> That's a nice one, though. Heck yeah. Take your time, just keep pressure. Keep some pressure, a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. There you go. Cow! He almost pulled me in. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! Yeah! Chunky monkey right there! Nice. So, Captain Daddy has just told me to switch it up with the worm and try out a jig. Really, honestly, like that's the first time like jig fishing with the like for largemouth bass with a bait caster and catching one all by myself. That was sick. Casted it out real far, and that's where he's got the painter tape on there. You can't see it, but I mean, I made it work. And that's a solid, chunky little fish right there. Beautiful. That's a three pounder. Good fish. He hit really hard. I can't imagine like if I get one double this size, how it's gonna be, but. For a second there, like I felt myself going forward a little bit. He was pulling hard for his size. Nice fish. <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> I wasn't even sure if that was a fish. It is a oh, oh my god. Oh. It's a big one. It's a big one. I honestly didn't even know what was going on there. Please stay freaking hooked. Oh, the freaking, oh. The freaking worm. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in the weeds. Get him out of the grass. Get him out of the grass. Get him out of the grass. I know. I'm just there he is. Oh. Oh, what a fight. That's incredible. I got a toad. <laughs> nice. I think that's big enough. Is that your biggest bass? Freaking pretty big. I don't know, that's gonna be close. Do we have a scale? Oh my gosh! Look <laughs> at that fish! <laughs> just killing it out here with that. He is Unbelievable. So I just switched up from the jig to a worm and literally within that five minutes of fishing this worm, I just blew up this gorgeous beauty. Wow, that's a bucket mouth. How big do you think that fish is? That's a five pounder, at five, least, at, at least. least five. My biggest bass is actually technically eight pounds. Here, hold that up. Um, but I caught that fish on live bait. So this is definitely my biggest fish on artificial, baby. Heck yes. Let's weigh it. You want to Look see. at that beauty. Look at that bucket mouth. I honestly didn't even know that fish ate it. Like I was just kind of, I don't know, I was just messing around and, and digging the worm. And then twice I felt like tension and I thought it was just weeds on the bottom, but it was a fish. And he had already swam out to the middle and he just choked that worm. He was starving. <laughs> Hasn't that, he is putting us on the toads today. That's the fish I came for. Heck yes. And of course I can't find the scale. Everglades killing it out here. Now you can lie and say it was seven. <laughs> All right, guys, after that fish, we took some great pictures for Darcy's new calendar coming out uh, for the bass calendar. We're going to have a saltwater version also. You can check those out on pre-order really soon on dustizzleoffshore.com. Then we released all these great fish. want to give a big special thank you to uh, Thaddeus Reagan again. We gave you his information plenty of times. And then it just started pouring rain. Uh, you know, that happened in the Everglades. It was really a <laughs> downpour. I had to get all our gear on and, and shoot home. And it got super dark, so we never have a chance to wrap it up. But uh, as usual, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it so much. Follow your dreams and keep on catching.